Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna continue working on part 13 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to start the second floor. We added some doors and then we also created the closets. Now we're gonna continue working on this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in the beds first so in order for us to make it fast what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna turn on the underlay which is right here under properties and then we're going to put it to first floor because we already added some of the beds so here i'm gonna select the queen cs on that spacebar and then just add it right here so it will be added on the second floor. So don't worry about um, us um, adding it on the first floor again. So because we're in the second floor, it will automatically be in the schedule for the second floor. So now, other things that we need to add is the nightstand, CS on that. Let's not forget that we're going to add in um, some lighting on that so we can add it later on let's finish all of this first um, let's add this one as well this is the toilet so cs on that i'm gonna add the toilet right about here and then let's add in the shower cs on this for the shower i'm gonna put it right around here so definitely we're going to change it and then put it in the right uh, width and uh, depth so don't worry about that and then here i'm going to put in the sink i'm going to add it right about here so two sink and then actually we can even move it more right there so we added everything else so i just want to double check what else are we, are we missing um, and then just keep on adding it on those i would like to add the entertainment system as well so space bar to change orientation and i'm going to add it right about here and definitely we can extend those and then the tv as well why not add the tv Sp um, click on tab in order for us to grab it from there and then let's put it in the middle and then turn it around so that's good and then maybe the sofa as well cs Let's add the sofa right here in the middle so that we're good. And I believe I'm happy with um, maybe the desk as well. So might as well add the desk and then the chair. okay so now i believe we can turn off the underlay by putting this to none now because we could basically move this one under the correct space this is perfect on this we have enough room it's not crowded and obviously we're going to add in a lighting there um, here we're going to include the top so insert load family go to plumbing architecture fixtures and then we have bathtub right here and let's use the 2d only so cm and then we could just add it right there so that's perfect enough 
we don't need two. Let's just put it in the middle. And then here, we need to change this. So click on tab. And then you want to make sure that we have the proper size and probably up to here. So now we have those dimensions. We need to edit type, duplicate this so that it doesn't change on the lower or the first bedroom. And then here, what we can do is we could change this to 1241. And then this one is 1463. Click OK. And then there you go. It is fixed there and fit properly. And then let's not forget the line, thin line right here. We could just add something that looks like this. And we're, we have more than enough space. So that's good right here. And then obviously we're going to add in our, um, a sliding door here. So it will be one of those curtain walls that we're going to change to um, a window. And then that window, we're going to add in a curtain wall uh, door. And then here, let's add in the beds on the others. So here we could add a bed right there. And then here we could add one more bed. And then here we could add in another bed. And then here we could add in the entertainment system. Um, actually, we could just leave it like that now. I want to hide the sections. So I'm just going to select them for now. And then right click and then hide element. So I'm just hiding it. Hiding those for now. And then we're going to add it later on. So now what we can do is we're finished right here. Um, let's put in the shower onto this side. I'm going to put it right there. Obviously, that's not the, the correct size. So we're going to just add those. Once we add those, we're going to change the dimension. So before we add in, let's look at the dimensions. So I'm just adding that. And then I'm just estimating this one to around, maybe around like that. Okay, so edit, duplicate again. And then here, let's put in the 1600 first. And then here, edit. This one should be around 1000. I think 1000 is good enough size. We have enough room right here. Plus, anyway, it's just, it's by itself, actually. And if you notice, we have the common um, washroom right here. So we actually don't need to give this one for the other. So we could just flip this one right here without anybody's access. Um, I didn't uh, saw that on the other or from the previous video, but at least we caught it right now. 
and then here I'm just basically make every, making everything good and then here we could add in a table as well and then the chair because we have enough space and then we will have some the entertainment system right here and then here we're going to add this one as well obviously it's not the correct fit so we need to know that fit 1800 so edit this type duplicate again so that this one doesn't change 1800 and then press ok so that will that will change there I'm gonna add in this one right here and then because there's two people sharing this might as well add two sync and we have the space for that and then there we go so that looks good everything looks proper we have the beds and then let's take care of the nightstand so here we could just add it on one side and then here let's add this one on each side first and then move it to the proper location and then here we could just grab it there there we go and then this one we could just have it there or we could have it on one side so either either way it's up to you where you're gonna put it and then let's load in a lighting so go back to the main go to lighting architecture let's go interior or internal and then we have one of this table lamp press open C M and then add it right here for now now I need my section so I'm not I'm gonna undo the hiding so you basically just press this one close reveal hidden element so you need to unhide those element and then close so we hid it first and then we showed it afterwards so here I'm just gonna move this one right here flip it and we could double click it to show how it looks so we're in the second floor so I just want to show you guys how I find the proper height so a L that's a line select that one right there a L and then put it right there then obviously there's like something right there because this is circle we cannot actually align it unless we get this one I think this one is yes so the proper height on this one is 762 so now what we can do is we could just select that CS like I said once you CS something you inherit everything that is edited on that So we don't need to add those and then edit the um, offset or elevation level. It will be definitely right there already because you see as the ones that has it as well. 
but if you just add it see m again and add this one if you notice um, some of them the won't inherit the height so you will need to change it again and those kind of stuff so you just need to take note of that so now what I would like to do is add in the floor so this will be tricky because we have an open below so we're going to go around it at the same time like I said we will have a balcony right here we also have a balcony right here so that will be a tricky um, situation but right here we could just click on the floor now edit type duplicate this will be floor number 10 and then let's edit the material I like to add so I'm gonna add probably clad white first because we haven't used that and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use pick line to go around this one so I'm just selecting all the ends here as well we need to be extended so right here we're going to go around here so I'm thinking if we should go around and then just add another one right there or we could just extend it and then change it to whatever we want later on so I'm still contemplating I'm just going to clean up this ones that we have right here so here especially in this part we don't need it because as you know this is the stair so the, this needs to be open here we need to actually undo that we need to go around here there we go this is need to go around we don't need to want to show it and then now here I'm thinking of just adding it later on so I'm just going to add this one the balcony I'm just going to extend that balcony right there and then here I'm going to add the balcony as well so I'm going to extend it as well I think that's the right thing to do this one right there and it's gonna be easier for us so if we need to change it we're gonna change it definitely and then this part we don't need to show this part right here I'm going to move this one a little bit as well because it will be shown on the edge of this so what I'm gonna do is once I have it there flip it a little bit at the top so I've been uh, sending stuff to twin motion all the time that's why i know that um, anything that is overlapping uh, will flicker and that's why there's like flickering in twin motion it's because of this like overlapping stuff so now 
click on finish don't attach it or else you will have a gap between first to second floor so just click it on that we have the floor we can change the floor the one below uh, usually I want it to be obviously onto the we could add a different flooring for the um, washroom so by using paint so we could do that later on if we want to and here luckily we don't have any anything that is doesn't look good so good thing we have it there and that looks good so let's stop here for now continue in the next video thank you for watching and hope you like the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below